good morning students today we are discussing about the topic is ciliary movements previous class we are discussing about the flagellary movements today we are discussing about the topic is ciliary movements so the ciliary movements this kind of movements is observed into the ciliates observed to the ciliates observed to the which organisms ciliates of the organisms the ciliary movements is a observed to the ciliated organisms and previous class we have discussed about the the ciliary locomotion is a pendular movements so locomotion movement is a pendular movements so the pendular movements another this kind of movements also known as bending movements this kind of movements is a bending movements so the ciliary movements is a which type of movements bending movements next uh, the ciliary movements observed into the organisms is a ciliates of the organisms and this kind of movements is a bending movements or pendular movements are pendular movements pendular movements now in this bending or pendular movements now discuss is about to the the first one is effective stroke and the second one is a recovery stroke it is a two marks question this video is between to the the effective strokes and the recovery strokes what is the meaning of effective stroke and recovery stroke now discuss is about the first one is effective stroke so effective stroke that means of in this process the cilia is bending backward so the cilia is a bending backward so it is a, the cilia is bending to the backward after it is a beating to the against of the water beating to the against of the water in this kind of stroke is known as a effective stroke it is a two marks question write the effective stroke and the recovery stroke what is effective stroke effective stroke that means of the cilia is bending to the backward the cilia is a bending to the backward and beating to the against of the water beating to the against of the water this kind of stroke is a effective stroke finally the moving of the organisms is a forward this kind of stroke is known as effective stroke what is effective stroke effective stroke means the cilia is a bending backward and beats to the against of water this kind of stroke is known as effective stroke finally the organism is a move to the forward next another one is recovery stroke so the recovery stroke this kind of stroke that means of the cilia is comes to the original position the cilia is comes to the original position so what is the meaning of the recovery stroke after effective stroke after effective stroke the cilia is comes to the original position comes to the original position this kind of stroke is known as a recovery stroke it is a two marks question write the effective stroke and the recovery stroke what is the meaning of effective stroke effective stroke means the cilia bends backward beat against of the water finally the arm is moved to the forward this kind of stroke is known as effective stroke what is the meaning of recovery recovery stroke recovery stroke that means of after effective stroke the cilia is uh, comes to the original position this kind of stroke is a recovery stroke it is a effective and a recovery stroke now we are uh, one example of the ciliary movements so the ciliary movements finding of the organism is a paramecium the best example is paramecium So the paramecium. now we are observed to the ciliary locomotions in paramecium now the common information of the paramecium commonly the paramecium is known as sleeper animal cube 
common these are known as slipper animal cure and the upper surface of the total body it is contained into the many of the cilia the upper surface of the body is contained into the many of the cilia it is a cilia function it is helping to the locomotion and capturing of the food materials sometimes it is act on to the sensory functions it is the functions of the cilia so it is commonly known as a slipper animal cure the upper surface of the total body is contained into the many of cilia the functions of the cilia it is helping to the locomotion and other some of the helping to the the capturing of the food materials sometimes it is act on to the sensory functions it is the common informations of the paramecium now we are observed with the ciliary movements in the paramecium so the paramecium containing of the cilia is exhibited to the two types of movements it is exhibited to the two types of movements the cilia containing of the paramecium is exhibited to the how many types of movements two types of movements the first one is a synchronous movements the first one is synchronous movements and the second one is metachronous movement metachronous movements so what is the meaning of synchronous and metachronous movements in the paramecians so in this paramecians of the cilia is exhibited to the two types of movements the first one is synchronous and the second one is metachronous movements now the discussion is about to the synchronous movements now the discussion is about the movement is synchronous movement so the synchronous movements means the cilia containing of the paramecians moves to the transverse direction moves to the transverse direction the cilia containing of the paramecium move to the transverse direction at the time the cilia is a simultaneously beating of one direction it is a, the cilia is beating to the one direction this kind of movements is known as a synchronous movement so what is the meaning of synchronous movement the cilia containing of the paramecium move to the transverse direction at the time the cilia is beating to the simultaneously one direction simultaneously one direction this kind of movements is known as synchronous movement now what is the meaning of metachronous movement so the metachronous movements means the cilia containing of the paramecium moves to the longitudinal direction moves to the longitudinal direction when the cilia containing of the paramecium move to the longitudinal direction at the time the cilia is a beating to the one after other directions one after other directions this type of movements is known as metachronous movements it is exhibited to the the cilia containing of the paramecium so the paramecium moves to the transverse direction the cilia is beating the simultaneously one direction this kind of movements is a synchronous so the metachronous movements is the cilia containing of the paramecium is moving to the longitudinal direction at the time the cilia is beating to the one after other one direction this kind of movements is a metachronous movements it is the the ciliary movements it is the completed to the the locomotion in protozoans next today we are discuss about the reproduction in protozoans